<laughs> and do you know, there's this dilemma uh, about uh, do you take your children out of school or do you not? But this is a lead from Page of the Times mm. and it's talking about a ski firm that says it will pay any fines that you may incur as a parent. Is that not against the law, I would have thought? What it is, yeah, absolutely mm. is. At the moment, you get charged 60 quid per kid if you take them out during term time. But of course, as we were talking about before, so many parents are finding that, that holidays cost a fortune during the holiday time. So increasingly, they're, they're bunking out. This, this guy who owns a ski company is offering to pay the fines for the parents. So he thinks that, that, that the schools are taking the peace, as he says it, <laughs> and, and we'll pay the fines. <laughs> He's also claiming that, that it's going to help the British Olympic effort. What? Because more children will start skiing, which sounds like the flimsiest PR yes. bump yes. ever. I think we all know whose effort he's trying to help with yes. yeah, his own. And it is a brilliant PR wheeze. As it you is. said, he's ended up on the front page of mm. The Times and in most of the other newspapers as well. Mm. So well done him. I can't see it making a you know, tiniest difference to most parents. Most parents particularly don't particularly want yeah. to go skiing but for unless a start. you now get an airline company attaching themselves to this and then a, a hotel yeah. firm at the other end and then you may actually get a serious problem mm. Mm. but the thing is you know it should be about the kids education first sure you know going on holiday is nice but education is more important we're well, talking of education this story here from the mail give every single pupil an a grade mm. at the start of term this is before they've even done anything daisy mm. isn't it yes mm. i mean this does it is one of those stories that you, your first reaction is it's absolute mm. baloney it's mm. completely Ridiculous. Just to be clear, it's not the National Union of Teachers saying this, it's not the government no. saying this, um, it's the Royal Society of Arts who've um, you know, put forward, um, uh, I think it's a, it's a Quango, it's the think tank who've yes. actually done the work for them, and what they're saying is that uh, children would benefit without any sort of failure attached mm. to their academic or scholastic it should career. should the motivating power of loss aversion, yeah. uh, whatever that means. Uh, they do this at my toddler's school, he's four and a half, you start the day on green, if you do well, you're silver and then gold. But, you know, he's a toddler, yeah. really. This, this exactly, the that's, that, that's the point. And, and although, you know, I'm not a great advocate of the school of hard knocks, you know, mm. chuck them in the deep end, that sort of thing, I do think a more caring approach is better. I think when you go down this route where children are being told that they're all brilliant, but actually they're being told not to use the word clever, you know, they're all mm. high achievers, I think actually in some ways it puts too much pressure on the teachers mm. to try to keep up this well, pretense. It could be unrealistic for the kids as well if they start with an A and they say, you know, this is to encourage them to keep achieving, yeah, but then no, if no, they're no, not no, genuinely no, no, an no, A grade no, no, student, no, no, they'll no, no, struggle. No, no, no. no. What? Every quiz show you all watch is based on the same sort of premise. I mean, mm. that pointless show that we all start up there and it goes, -lo 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 -lo. everything yeah. falls down to the bottom at the end. Kids can identify with that sort of thing. I actually think this is quite a good idea. But they can't be pointless children because there's no F grade. There's going to be a uh. not yet grade. This just feels like hippy dippy well, stuff. Well, I'm sure it? you'll have a lot to say about that. Uh, we've yeah. got Rylan in the hub today taking your, your comments. Um, I'm sure you have. Rylan. Rylan. Yes, Dad. Just, right, you're starting, I'm just warning you. What? You're starting on a gold, not just gold hair. <laughs> a gold star, so be careful as to where it may fall today. OK? okay. Keep right. it up. Right. We'll be back shortly. Back what, shortly. What, 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 what? I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying I've got some comments about this. Already? Just let me do okay. my job. Yes, go on then. Oh, Dad, you're always embarrassing me on the telly. Vicky's <laughs> <laughs> um, treated him. She said, this is just even more pressure on our children. Leave them to be kids and leave them at their own pace. Uh, and if it agrees, our kids have enough pressure on them. In an ideal world, all kids would be achieving an A grade, but not all kids are capable. I know I wasn't. Isn't it about making sure children achieve a grade to the best of their ability? Who knows?